Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to another episode of Life with Marianne and Joe. Thank you for stopping by today. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about some health care for our tomato tomato plants. Um, I This has been a really tough growing season because of the tremendous amount of heat. Uh, and if you don't keep after your, your plants, obviously with, you know, not only watering, uh, they will be affected by this, uh, these conditions that are, are occurring right now in the summer. So I thought I'd give you a little uh, inexpensive quick tip on how to possibly take care of some common problems that we may experience with our tomato plants. And uh, today's uh, hint is uh, something that I saw on Google News and I thought, hey, let me, let me share this with my subscribers and uh, because it's an inexpensive, easy way to keep our tomato plants healthy. And the key to this whole thing is baking soda. That's simply baking soda. So we don't have to go out and buy um, expensive fungicides or herbicides or, or things like that. We can just use these uh, uh, baking sodas. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is pests. And uh, aphids are these uh, tiny little insects, which I'm going to uh, put a picture in here right now. So um, these aphids can actually ruin your tomato plant. So what you need to do is you need to take the baking soda and sprinkle it around the base of the tomato plant. Now what happens is it will irritate the aphids when they are traveling from the dirt up onto the plant and um, you know you can uh, use this as a preventative before the uh, actual aphids will invade your plants. Now the one thing is after you water or after a rain you're going to have to reapply because obviously you know when the the uh, baking soda gets wet, it'll dissolve and just go into the ground. So uh, put a circle around the base of the tomato plant and you can prevent the aphids from crossing over onto the stems. So the next thing up is mildew. Mildew is a fungus that will cause a less fruit on your tomato plant or misshapen smaller fruit that you really don't want. And what happens is if you get mildew on your tomato plants, it makes them more susceptible to other diseases. So once again, it's the same process. You want to sprinkle the baking soda around the base of the plant, which will create an alkaline environment, which means a basic environment that the mildew doesn't like. So um, in order to prevent mildew from happening, and I know this is difficult to do, they say that it's best not to water the leaves of the tomato plants, to only water down at the base, and because the more the, the leaves get wet, uh, the more susceptible they may become to a fungus. Now, I know a lot of you are like me, you, you know, you might just put the sprinkler on so that you can water your, your tomato plants. You, you don't, you know, stand there and water at the base. But uh, it is a suggestion that, uh, it, that uh, can uh, reduce the amount of mildew probability on your tomato plants. You can also spray your tomato plants as a fungicide. And what you do is you can make up a mixture of baking soda, dish soap, and water and put it in one of those pump sprayers and spray your tomato plants down and you can limit the amount of mildew that may uh, form on your plants. Another thing that tomato plants are susceptible to is blight. Now what you want to do is by putting the baking soda once again around the base of your tomato plants you may prevent spore growth from growing because what happens is uh, by by raising the pH of the soil even though tomato plants like acidic soil by raising the pH uh, you know going closer to neutral what you're doing is you're making the plant less susceptible to fungal diseases now you can uh, make up a mixture and uh, spray it on your plants. If you only want to make a small mixture of this fungicide, what you would do is mix 
one tablespoon of baking soda with two cups of water and spray it on the leaves. And if you want to make a bigger batch of it, you would use four tablespoons of baking soda to two gallons of water and you will spray the leaves and it will act as a fungicide. And last but not least is weeds. Not only are weeds unsightly and makes your garden look unkept, but they can actually destroy your plants because what they do is they suck out the water and the nutrients that your, the plant that you're growing there actually needs. So believe it or not, baking soda around the base of the plant will key, kill the weeds as well. So by simply putting that the baking soda around the base of the plant, what you're going to do is you're going to prevent pests like aphids, you're going to prevent mildew from forming, you're going to prevent blight, and you're going to prevent weeds. So what more can we ask, right? So this is a safe, effective, inexpensive way to take control of some of common problems that we see in our tomato plants. Okay, everybody, I hope you're all doing well, and I'm so happy to see you, and i um, I'll, I'll be stopping in with these kind of little hints with different kinds of things because I'm always reading Google News and um, I get a lot of this stuff in my news. So I figured let me share it with you. All right, everybody, take care and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.